been thinking about moving to Wichita, Kansas for some time now, but you need that, that nice little nudge. Just a little teeny weeny help. I got six reasons here. If you're good with them, I mean, if they apply to you, then by all means, come on down. Make sure you stay till the end. I'll kick a little bonus one at you. We're getting after it right now. a solid if you're getting any value out of this like comment subscribe hit the bell so you're notified when we kick these videos out each and every week got a question reach out i can't read your mind call text email whatever you got to do send the carrier pigeons get that question answered you're not going to know unless you ask plugs aside we're getting after it now get started I want to throw out all these reasons I'm, I'm kicking to you they've all been conversations I've had with people moving here they either did or they did not so just a heads up trying to keep it transparent so let's get into it number one it goes without saying we here compared to a lot of these different places these bigger cities we have a lower cost of living. We're smack dab in the middle. We're in the heartland, the Midwest. It goes without saying. So you're coming from say Dallas, Denver. I mean, even KC, uh, the coast, you know, that cost of living is going to be less. So kind of a duh, but it's, it still just never ceases to amaze me when I'm talking to somebody about <clears throat> about buy, coming here, living here, buying a home. They're selling their home. Um, for me, right now, honestly, a lot of people. Um, I get a lot of people from California and Texas. Um, my people in Texas. I don't know if this is just me. It seems like the people from Texas are seem more apt to actually make the said move. Um, that's just me in my experience, but yeah, Dallas, um, you know, LA, Denver. I mean, we even have people from, from Colorado, but yeah, lower cost of living. Um, and it's not going to be everything. Um, recently went on a trip with the wife, uh, in September, we caught a concert, you know, it kind of goes without saying gas down in Dallas is going to be a quite a bit cheaper because everything's down there you're not having to you're not having to pay the transport cost um, same with cattle so your steaks and stuff but other than that a lot of our stuff a lot of our other stuff it's gonna be a tad bit cheaper um, this is gonna be more so like the coast but cost of living more times than not is gonna be cheaper here than most places number two we are the air capital of the world. We don't call, uh, we're not called that for nothing. A lot of people I talk to when it comes to this, uh, obviously they're, they're either relocating here for aviation work, Spirit, Textron, uh, Bombardier, Learjet, some of the other, the other uh, smaller aviation companies, or McConnell Air Force Base. We have a pretty, pretty big base here as well. A lot of, uh, a, a lot of people come from the, for military so it's another perk another plus if you're coming in here you shouldn't have a problem getting some work so just another little thing to think of I mean I talked to a lot of a lot of our military people so um, yeah that's number two so number three we're gonna break this kind of into like two two pieces two parts so Number three is going to be for the size city we have. For the size city we have, there's quite actually quite a bit to do, surprisingly enough. Believe it or not, like I keep telling people, there are things to do. There's a little bit for everybody, you know. Um, but beyond that, I mean, like, you know, art, sports, you know, you like to bar hop. 
uh, plenty of parks, theaters, all that good stuff. Um, I've talked to a lot of people who come here uh, for hunting, for fishing. I had a gentleman I just, uh, I'd been talking to <clears throat> probably about a year ago. Um, it wasn't necessarily here. It was over in um, El Dorado. He was moving from, what was it? I want to say it was Louisiana. Um, doing some metal work or something like that. And he was, he was, yeah, he, his main reason for coming up here um, was work, but he had a couple different options and he picked here because of the hunting, the fishing. Um, right up there in, in El Dorado, for example. Um, you know, big old lake, it's all there. He can have his boat there, it's all there, it's convenient. Hunting, fishing. Um, I mean, on the outskirts of town, I've seen my share of turkeys, quail, uh, or that might have been a pheasant. Um, I don't do a whole lot of hunting. The only buck I ever caught was with my uh, with my Monte Carlo. So, um, fishing as well. You know, plenty of fishing. Uh, <laughs> he'd tell me, "I'm coming up here, do some crappie fishing." You know, just a character, and that's one of these things I love about this job: the people you meet. It's never a dull moment. Always characters. Number four, let's say you're coming from a bigger city. You're looking for a slower pace of life. Just, uh, you know, not the hustle and bustle. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I've made this comment before and I caught a little bit of heat. You know, yeah, we are somewhat of a busy city, but we're not like a Denver busy. We're not nowhere near LA. I mean, not even Kansas City. We got some spots here in town that it's busy, that, that are real busy. You, you know, run over to 21st and Mays and it, the traffic can be a little hectic, but um, you know, Kellogg or 400, you know, you're gonna have your, you're gonna have your spots, but overall, I mean, like I said, it's not a Denver, it's not an LA, you know, it's not a KC, you know, it's, and I, it it's been one of those things this is another one of those things i'm just looking to slow down just a slightly slower pace and that's cool there's nothing wrong with that so number five believe it or not this is um i had a I had a conversation with a gentleman uh, a little bit younger than myself <clears throat> he was working on his career and he had an opportunity to push his career forward here. He needed to get a little bit more experience under his belt before he jumped off to, um, it was down in Dallas, but um, he wanted to get his start here because he's coming from a smaller town. He wanted to kind of work himself up to Dallas. So we were kind of that in-between spot. Um, little, little, uh, different to think, but I mean, yeah, you give yourself, you know, you know, a few years, you know, a year to say three years and work yourself up to that point. I've had that conversation just, um, it's a nice little stepping stone in, in between town. Um, a lot of people might disagree with me there. But I can tell you one thing: doing a lot of uh, doing a lot of this stuff during the pandemic, uh, you find a lot of people are a little hesitant to be around crowds. They're not so crazy about the big crowds of people. And I can tell you, I've uh, never lived down in Dallas, but having just went down to Dallas and played in traffic and all that fun stuff. Wow. Um, I had some people, I had some people give me a hard time on, uh, uh another video. My <laughs> reasons not to move here. Um, like I keep telling everybody there's pros and cons to every city. This one's no different. I love living here. I'm born and raised here, 
but <laughs> but there's pros and cons to any city. But sorry, I'm I'm getting away from the point. But what I've seen, a lot of people they don't want to be around crowds. I mean, look at look at how you're able to get your your groceries delivered, contactless. Don't call me. I don't want to see you. Food delivery, same way. You know, um, I've yeah, I've done my fair share of showings, just like this. I mean, Zoom, look at Zoom. Zoom exploded. It took that company to the next level. So, I mean, it's not really that crazy to think. That in between. So, number six is going, going to apply to those people looking to, say, downsize. Maybe someone looking to retire. I've had this conversation with, with plenty of people. It kind of stems back to the cost of living point. If you're living in one of these bigger cities, you know, Denver, LA, what have you, the price of homes are more expensive. You can get the equivalent a lot less here if you're willing to be not uh, be a little open-minded. I don't want to say compromise, but you could sell your house. I mean, even now, you can sell your house, and I'm plenty sure you could find something that would work for you here that you could seriously pay down or just buy outright. I mean, think about that. You don't have a mortgage. All you got to worry about is taxes, insurance, and maintenance. Especially if you're looking to retire. I mean, having that paid off, that's a big weight off your shoulders. Just something to think about. I mean, kind of, it just kind of, kind of stems to life's already hard enough. Why make it any harder? If you have an opportunity to do something like this, why not? You know, just my two cents. Now, if we were having this conversation, you know, say 10 years ago, and you asked me, give me, give me a few reasons to move here. Okay, well, I got family. I got family that lives here. Or, um, work. I'm looking to, I got transferred, you know, over here at Spirit or, you know, Boeing back in the day. Um, I'm going to WSU, you know, school, yeah, school, you know, but, um, we'll throw the bonus at you. Think about it like this. Say you go through the heartache of moving, moving down here. You go through the heartache, the trouble. I mean, let's be real. Who likes moving? I don't know about you, but I hate it. I'm, I've been living in this house here since 2015. I still have boxes in this house that I have not touched since I put them in their place. Just saying. And, you know, in this line of work, you'll see people move. You know. Oh, I didn't decided to move like a year or two years later you know for a lot of us this is the biggest purchase you're ever going to make so i don't know but say you move here you don't like it ultimately you don't like it you got plenty of options suburbs around so you you got you got the job you like you love this job it's got the bennies it's got everything you need the family's here the kiddos are going to school they're in that real nice program. Everything's great, except you don't like where you're at. You have plenty of options around. Andover, Rose Hill, Derby, Hayesville, Mulvane, Clearwater, Goddard, Colwich, Mays, Valley Center, Park City, Bel Air, Kichai. That's in the immediate area. You want to you you want to be a little further out 
El Dorado. That's like 40 minutes from here. Newton, you know, about 30 minutes north. So <laughs> you got options. That's all I'm saying. Just a little something to think about. But if you made it this far, do me a solid like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when we kick these videos out each and every week. Got a question? Reach out. I can't read your brain. I can't read your mind. That turkey's already got me, and I haven't even had it yet. Call, text, email, send the carrier pigeons, whatever you got to do to get that question answered. If you're seriously, if you're seriously needing help, can't help you if you don't reach out. If this is a, if this is, if you're good with these things, reach out. Throw me two, three things you 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 need, you want. Two or three things you don't want, you don't need. Pretty sure we can get you where you need to be. But it all starts with you reaching out. Till the next one, guys. We'll catch you later.